The uh, space station provides a place to test many technologies in the space environment where they will be used. Lori Meggs with the station's Payload Operations Integration Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville spoke with Chris Perventure, a project manager with Ames Research Center. He described how his team on the ground controls the flight of robotic satellites on the station using a smartphone, similar to the ones many of us use every day. So I'm researching Smart Spheres, which is a robotic free flyer on ISS. So the spheres are free-flying satellites on ISS, and they use uh, CO2 propulsion to, to move around, and they can navigate, uh, but they're satellites. What kind of controller are we talking about? So the controller is actually a Google Nexus S smartphone. So by, by connecting that smartphone to the satellite, we can use the Wi-Fi on the phone to communicate with the satellite via the LAN that's on board ISS. We can use the processors that are on the phone to control where the satellite goes and what it does. We can use the camera on the phone for vision, and there are other sensors on the phone that we can use as well. So you send communication from the ground? You call the phone? How does that work? Right, so the, a ground controller can communicate to the smartphone and tell the smartphone where to send the sphere. So that's how we control where this, where this free flyer goes and what it does. Have you had any results thus far? Yes, so in uh, December of 2012, we did do a demonstration where a ground controller in the Mission Control Center in Houston controlled the smart spheres to perform a mobile camera task. So he was able to uplink uh, commands to the smart spheres to tell it where to go and where to, uh, to take imagery. And uh, he was able to not only run some autonomous uh, plans that the smart spheres ran, but he was also able to interrupt the plans and take over manual control of the smart spheres. So it was very successful. What did we learn from that? Well, we learned that we, learned that we can control a robotic free flyer from the ground under the supervision of a ground controller. The crew only has a limited amount of time on station and a lot of that time is spent doing maintenance and housekeeping types of activities to include moving cameras around and also doing other types of environmental surveys such as taking noise level readings, uh, radiation level readings, other things to make sure that the station is safe. But if we can offload those tasks to a robot, that will free up time for the crew to spend more time working on science. And that's what's important to us. That's what's important. Why is the space station an ideal place to conduct this kind of research? Well, there are a couple of reasons we want to do this on ISS. First, uh, the ISS is the ideal uh, test bed for working in microgravity with free flyers. Uh, and secondly, since we want these robotic free flyers to de be deployed on the space station, we're actually doing our testing in the operational environment. The Smart Spheres is a prototype for a future free flying robotic system. Uh, by, by using the smartphone, it allows us to control the spheres and to demonstrate the activities of a free-flying camera or a free-flying sensor. Um, and so uh, uh, the lessons that we get from these tests will inform us on how to build uh, the future system.